Hello and welcome to an Indie Christmas with Anki and Steph. I am so excited to be collabing with Anki. She is a wonderful creator, very inspiring. Her looks are amazing. She's also a friend of mine in real life, which I feel so lucky to be able to say. Um, so Anki, thank you so much for collabing with me today. So guys, if you want to see how I created this look, using a load of indie brands then just keep on watching I will be listing everything I have on my face in the description box below so if there's anything you want to know you will find it there but today we're only talking about the indie brands being used um, so I do have to say firstly the powder I used today was the Nabla close-up baking and setting powder I love this powder it's so finely milled it doesn't it just looks beautiful it really really kind of uh, blurs out my imperfections I love it so that is that and for the eye look the first thing I'm going into is the Lois Cosmetics Gone Rogue palette I love this and I'm going to be going in with Nonconformist this beautiful purple down here so yeah my collaborator Anki She's, uh, if you like colourful makeup and indie brands, you are going to love her. She is just such a lovely, lovely person. And uh, I'm so excited to be collabing with her today. She has so many single shadows, like really special ones. Like not just any old single shadows she had, she seems to have a knack for picking out the the best ones and she also does duping videos with them so recently she duped the uh, Beetlejuice palette with Mel you will find Anki's channel and the her video <laughs> linked in the description box below so make sure you go check her out when you've watched this because she is brilliant I'm uh, going for a sugar plum fairy vibe today and we are going kind of halo eye. This purple is amazing. Lois Cosmetics, oh, <laughs> definitely a brand that you want to be keeping an eye on. There is another palette, um, Rose Metal I believe it's called. Um, it's more of a rosy tone neutral. Um, neutrals don't tend to be my kind of thing, but I do have to say the more I look at it, the more I want it. Also the, uh, the liquid eyeshadows from Lowe's Cosmetics. I have the green one, it's the shade Kingdom, and uh, it is gorgeous, so good so so good and i have heard that they are a dupe for stealer which is interesting um i haven't tried to steal the stealer ones um they're a little bit out of my price range um but i can vouch for the those cosmetics one that i have because it is brilliant it looks so stunning on the eye so the next palette I'm dipping into is from Artitude Cosmetics, is the Colour Splash palette. Um, this palette is another beauty with amazing formula. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So I'm going to dip into, what am I going to dip into? Hmm. I'm going to dip into Grape this purple here and let's see what happens here Artitude Cosmetics is owned by a very very lovely lady named Rux and she has recently released a new palette the VIP exclusive which I do have my hands on and uh, it is stunning so you will be seeing that in my Christmas with Indie Brands series. We're really looking crazy. 
Yeah, Anki is doing a Christmas advent calendar. Um, it's where she's um, compiled herself. And every day she's doing the opening of one on the on her Instagram. So I'll link Anki's Instagram in the description box below. Because you really need to check her out. She's amazing. Such a talented girl. I don't think she realises how talented she actually is. Right, and then dipping into this colour here, blush. And we're just going to use that to blend out those edges. So I think now, with the times that we are in, especially, I think it's more important than ever that we support our indie brands. Because unlike the larger companies, they are heavily reliant on, on orders and it is their life. Also, I've had so many good experiences with indie brand products. I do tend to prefer to use indie brands as a rule. I'm excited to see what indie brands that Anki has picked. So I know she uses a lot of um, single shadows from indie brands, which uh, I, I'm just always fascinated. She can put together the most beautiful colour story. It is amazing. She just has this talent for creating really workable colour stories oh, we really are looking a bit on the crazy side aren't we we'll be going back in and re-intensifying the other shades in just a moment if any of you have tried these well any of these products i'm using let me know what you think of them let me know in the description box below it'd be interesting to get other people's take as it gives us a chance to have a chat and I like chatting I'm stuck on some glitter primer and I'm going to dip into violet from the color splash palette and I'm going to use this just at the edges so that it kind of uh, ties it in with that purple there This is a pretty colour. So guys, what are your favourite indie brands? Let me know in the description box below. So I'm always looking for new ones to try out. Um, you will be seeing a video from me very soon on indie brands that I have my eye on for 2021. Ones that I'm hoping to try out. But is there anything you guys are intrigued by at the moment? Let me know. Okay, next I'm going to be dipping into this beautiful pink here. Um, it's called Cindy. It's from Makeup by Lisa. I haven't used this one on my eyes yet. Makeup by Lisa is another amazing indie brand that you need to check out. All of the brands I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. I do already have videos up with all of these brands, at least mentioned. So I'm just placing Cindy against this purple. They're blending beautifully together. I really like uh, just playing with makeup, not necessarily sticking to the rules of one palette. I know a lot of people like to just have a one and done kind of palette, but I I like to be different. I just find that I get more creative when I'm doing it this way. That's a lot of people. I hear people say they get kind of bored of playing with um, a palette after a while if they're playing with the same one loads. But if you kind of mix it up and 
pick shades from different palettes to pair together I find that you um, keep your creativity kind of going creative juices flowing whatever you want to say um, but I find it's really really inspiring uh, I don't know is that just me this pink is stunning The makeup by Lisa is, like I said, another UK indie brand and uh, she's just released um, quite a few single shadows and I do have videos swatching those and they're beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And dipping back into Nonconformist from the Lois Cosmetics Gone Rogue palette, just to, I'm just taking a touch of it on the brush just to re-intensify and also blend into that shimmer so for the center of my upper lid I am going to be dipping into this with love cosmetics glitter this is dazzleberry I haven't actually tried this one yet but with love cosmetics pressed glitter for me is just the best absolutely stunning all right I'm going to use a glitter pad brush thing and we're just going to be taking that straight up the centre there look at that I do love me some glitter I love these, you don't need a glitter primer underneath to put these on, They're, they hold on really well just with whatever's binding them together. Ooh. Look at that, absolutely stunning. So if you don't want to, if you wanted to create this look and you didn't want to use glitter, and you could just stick a, a really metallic shimmer in the middle but I really like glitter so that's what I'm using this is absolutely stunning look at that beautiful these glitters are just amazing absolutely amazing I highly recommend these glitters if you like the idea of glitter, um, but you're worried about the glitter glue and getting it everywhere, these are perfect because they, they just go on like a dream and they stay stuck. I love them. So yeah, that was Dazzleberry. And With Love Cosmetics is another UK indie brand. Um, I think they're brilliant. I love them. Right, so for the lower lash line, I want to dip into a um, couple of shades from Makeup by Lisa. Um, we have the shade Sea Spray here, which I want to go on the outside of my lower lash line, and then Aurora on the inner part of my lower lash line. I think those two are going to look beautiful. So let's go in with Aurora first. Bear in mind, I've got no primer under here. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. That's just straight on. Oh, beautiful. And then into Aurora, which is the, it's a really nice light blue, but it's got like pink reflex in it. It is beautiful and green, like pink and green. It seems to be that on my skin tone, I can see the green more. I'm not mad at that. Wow. That's a stunning colour. Yeah, I think we're doing alright here. All these uh, different indie brands I'm getting on my face. So, so far we've had Nabla with the powder. Um, Lois Cosmetics with the Deep Purple. Artitude Cosmetics Colour Splash Palette. Um, 
Makeup by Lisa Shimmers and With Love Cosmetics Glitter. So we're doing good. I kind of veered slightly away from the Sugar Plum Fairy with the blue, but it's uh, Steph's take on Sugar Plum Fairy. Okay, so for the inner corner and the brow bone highlight, and also for the highlight on my cheeks, I'm going to go into the Makeup by Lisa highlighter in the shade Pearl. I love this. It is absolutely stunning. So let's have a dip into that. And we will place her on the inner corner here. Oh, look at that. An inner corner highlight really kind of brings things together, doesn't it? That is stunning. The blue and violet reflex in here really kind of tie um, the upper lid and lower lash line together. It just looks beautiful. Right, so the brow bone. I'm going to pop a bit of hair up there. A lot of hair. Let's go for it. Beautiful. That looks so pretty. I wonder what Anki's done. I can't wait to see her video. I will be able to see it along, well, at the same time as you guys. And she will have definitely picked some great indie brands to show you. So, like I've already said, if you haven't checked out Anki's channel, you really, really need to. So, as soon as you finish watching this video, go down and click the link to Anki's channel. Go watch her video, check her out, she's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And she's such a lovely girl as well. And I'm very, very fortunate to be able to call her my friend in real life also. Right guys, I'm going to nip off camera, liner, lashes, lippy, you know the drill, and then I will be back to do blush and highlight with you, so don't go anywhere. Okay, liner, lashes and lips done. Um, I went in with the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one. Um, I love this, it's fantastic. And the lashes are also from Artitude Cosmetics and they are in the Style Rebel come in these gorgeous little boxes and the ooh, the lippy I popped on was from Labelle it's the Labelle matte liquid lipstick in exotic chic I quite like it it is a little bit more drying than some others but it's not uncomfortable so that is that right so now we are on to blusher and highlight so the blusher I'm going to go in with is Typhoid Mary from Pout and Shout. And Pout and Shout is a very new UK indie brand. I love these blushes. Absolutely love them. And she hand paints them herself. I just think they're brilliant. It says stay, stay home, save nine lives. Fantastic. These are really, really pigmented. Um, but like I've already said, I will link all of the uh, indie brands I've used, their websites, or in Pout and Shout's case, um, her Instagram account. Um, she's very, very new. Um, so yeah, go check them out. I absolutely love Pout and Shout's blushes. I have two and another one on the way. They're that good. So, uh, I am expecting a lot of people to fall in love with these blushes once they've tried them. Look at that. Look at that colour. It is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. So this one's more of a mauve toned blush. But, oh... I absolutely love these. Cannot recommend them enough. Stunning. And the highlighter, oh, crikey. 
And the highlighter I'm going to go in with is the Makeup by Lisa highlighter in the shade Pearl, what we used for the inner corner and brow bone highlights. I absolutely love this highlighter. The formula of this highlighter is out of this world. The colours as well. Oh, it's so pretty. I do really need to try some of the other colours. I just I love this one so much. It's just a perfect formula. Look at oh, look at that sparkle. Anki's another one that likes a, a blinding highlight, so I'm expecting to see. I reckon she's going to use one of those eyeshadows for highlight. The ones she usually uses. I think they're from Terra Moon. That's what I think. Oh, that is just too freaking stunning. Look at it. I'm probably putting way too much on, but hey ho. I like to shine. And with this, I definitely shine. Look at that. You can't go wrong with that. So I just run over it with the blusher brush to blend it in a little bit. I am super happy with this look. So happy. I do love supporting indie brands and all of these that I have shown today are smashing it. The Nabla powder is amazing. Pout and Shout's blush is amazing. Makeup by Lisa has shimmer eyeshadows, highlighter. Artitude Cosmetics Colour Splash Palette, the Liner and Lash Adhesive in One Lashes, Lois Cosmetics Gone Rogue Palette, and LaBelle's Lipstick. So yeah, we've done really well at covering a few indie brands today. Um, my plan for 2021 is to get a whole face of indie, indie makeup. So right from primer, foundation, concealer, everything. So keep your eyes open. I have spotted that VE Cosmetics do a foundation and concealer. So I think that might be on my list for 2021. So Anki, what do you think? I can't wait to see your look lovely. I think it's gonna be amazing. Well, I know it's gonna be amazing because all of your looks are. So guys, let me know what you think of this look in the comments section below and if you've tried any of these brands, want to try any of these brands or have any recommendations of other indie brands that I should try, then please do let me know in the comments section below. Everything I have on my face will be listed. The necklace and earrings are from Amy's Accessories. She is a UK indie brand. I will list her details in the description box below also and yeah that's about it so thank you so much for joining me today if you're over from Anki's channel hi I'm Steph I love colorful makeup I love indie brands um, I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next so if you've liked this video and you want to see more like this give the video a like a thumbs up it really helps me out so have a great day, evening, whatever it is you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.